Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again, and today I'm reviewing a Gears of War Series 6 figure, and this figure is the Cantus. So this figure is part of Series 6, like I said. Uh, it's currently not out at stores, but the only store you can mainly get these at is uh, Toys R Us, because Target and Walmart doesn't carry NECA figures. Um, but the retail price on him is actually, I believe, $14.99. Uh, it might be a little bit cheaper, but I got mine online. That's where you can currently get these right now. Uh, but they should be in Toys R Us stores in the next couple weeks. Um, but anyways, let's go over the packaging first for this guy. So as you can see here, it's in the same style packaging that they've been using for all the Gears of War figures so far. Uh, Series 6 has been a long delay. The last time we got new figures was back in 2009, if I'm correct. Um, Series 5 was completely repacked, which was released, I believe early last year or maybe late 2009 but I'm not sure on that but the last time we got new figures was series 4 and that was a very long time ago so anyways uh, down here it's got a picture of the Cantus from the actual game uh, it says NECA player select um, it says Gears of War 2 up on the top of course then on the back of the packaging here it's got a very big picture of the actual figure here um, that might be no that might actually be yeah um, looks to be a picture of the actual figure but anyways um, over here we got two more uh, pictures of the figure down here shows all the other figures from the wave including some other ones from previous series and then it says little is known about the shadowy monk like figures called the canis beyond summoning tickers they rely on gorgon pis rely on the gorgon pistol poison ink grenades and their concussive scream for protection in battle but the true danger lies in their ability to rally injured locusts back into battle, which makes them destroying which makes destroying the Cantus a top priority during a firefight. So that's what it says on the packaging there. So let's go over the actual figure here first. So the whole entire figure is a completely new sculpt. They've never made a Cantus before, so the whole entire figure is completely new. Um, even his accessory here is completely new too, which is the Gorgon pistol, like it said on the back of the packaging. Unfortunately, he doesn't come with any ink, or ink grenades, like it says on the back. Uh, but, you know, oh well, what are you going to do? Uh, but this Gorgon pistol is pretty cool. It's got a little trigger right there where his finger can fit in there. Uh, it's got some wrappings going around the handle there to give it a kind of a like it's been used look to it. And I really like the design of this Gorgon pistol. I think in Gears of War 2, I haven't played it in quite a while, but I think this was like a um, burst weapon, so it'd shoot like four or five, um, maybe even three bullets at a time. Because I know in the Gears of War 3 beta, this one is fully automatic, so... Um, but I'm not sure on that, because I don't remember too much from Gears 2, but... Uh, it's a really cool pistol. That it's completely new. It's got all these details into it. Got these two magazines right here, which look really fantastic. Um, and yeah, so he, that's the only accessory he mainly comes of. Um, I'm not sure if you can really consider this an accessory right here, which is his uh, little cape type thing. Uh, it can be removed if you pop his head off if you want to, uh, but it's supposed to stay on there. It's supposed to be kind of like fabric-like. And how NECA makes their figures, they make it out of rubber, so it kind of flails around real easily, which gives it the feeling of fabric almost, or leather if you prefer. Uh, but anyways, it's you know, pretty cool. Um, this uh, skirt type karma type thing, whatever you want to call it. It's also made of the same exact material. It's got a ton of uh, weathering in it, a lot of cuts, uh, bolt holes, and all sorts of stuff like that. It looks really fantastic. And it's got this uh, gold detailing on the back of it. There's also some more gold detailing on this part of it too. Um, and yeah. Uh, the whole entire figure itself has got a ton of articulation. He's got the, well not articulation, uh, details. Um, you got these, uh, wrist kind of like uh, straps going around it's even on his hands a little bit there um, there's also this little armor piece right here you can see his skin and everything uh, it's he's kind of got like um, a six pack down here that you can really barely see but it's there um, but he's got all this other detailing and everything the head sculpt on him is phenomenal it looks really awesome you can see it in the light there it's got his tongue sticking out you can see his silver eyes and then all of his menacing looking teeth and the helmet on him lo looks fantastic I really like this helmet uh, gives him a lot of detail to him. Um, articulation for this figure, we got a ball jointed head, ball hinge shoulders, ball hinge elbows, and then we got swivel wrists. And then for the waist here, it's on a swivel joint. Um, for his waist down here, it's also on a ball joint. His knees are ball hinged, and his feet are ball jointed. Um, so as you can see down here, there's even more detail on his feet. You got his uh, toes right here, some 
big ass gnarly looking toenails, uh, which look really kind of creepy. Down here on the bottom, it's got two peg holes for, uh, of course, a stand of some sort, but there's no stand included with the figure. Uh, but he's got some more armor down here on his shins. There's more of those straps down here up by his thighs. Um, and yeah. So pretty cool figure, you know. NECA does a really good, a really good job on sculpting their figures. They like to put a lot of detail onto them, and the paint is pretty decent on them as well. Um, so you get a really cool accessory with this guy. The whole entire thing is completely new, so you know it's really cool that they came out with this Cantus figure. Um, so, anyways, that's pretty much it for this review. I'm gonna go ahead and rate him a five out of five. NECA did a really good job on him, and you know it's been a really long time since he's been revealed. I think it was revealed at Toy Fair in 2010, which is almost uh, over a year now. Um, so we've been waiting for this guy for a long time. But anyways, if you see him out in stores, I would highly recommend him. He's a really cool figure, and that's pretty much it. So hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys in the next video.